What's going on guys? Welcome to the second video in this series where I'm just talking about uh, Bosch Relays. Bosch is the brand. Um, they make a certain style of relays. And in this specific video I'm going to be talking about the 5 pin relay and wiring up a backup power system for a circuit that's controlled by a switch or if you want to do what I did you can actually instead of controlling it by a switch if you have an engine management system in your car which is an aftermarket system that controls your engine you can wire that to where it can control the switch also so if your factory system fails your aftermarket system can pick up and most of the time most people would not have a an aftermarket computer in their car I'm throwing it out there as a as a possibility as a great idea so if you want to explore that as a possibility then it's a great backup system to have because you can have it completely untouched by you if you're having trouble with your factory fan system if it's not kicking on like you want it to something like that that's the situation that I'm having in that video that I'm popping up right now on the bottom left of the screen. I kind of touched on that a little bit about a year ago, maybe more. I wired in this relay system, this specific wire diagram that I have wired up, that I have drawn up here. I wired it into my car because I was having trouble with my factory ignition circuit. It wasn't kicking my fan on like it was supposed to, and my car overheated a couple times. Did not like that, especially with the amount of work I have done to my engine. So what I ended up doing was wiring in this relay with this backup system controlled by the switch. And eventually I ended up tying in this switch, like I said, to my engine management system and then it ended up being way better. But like I said, the end result of this is you would have one device that's controlled by two completely separate systems. So pin 30, so this is my, uh, this is my fan and pin 30 is tied to that We'll just call this the cooling fan for right now. So this is the fan that sits on the radiator. And what I want is I want that to come on whenever the car gets to a certain temperature. And normally, that's measured by the factory ignition switch, the ignition circuit. Um, so whenever your ignition switch is on, all that stuff works as it's supposed to. Whenever the car gets up to a certain temperature, it ends up triggering the fan and, and turning it on. But I have a problem with my fuse box, internal to the fuse box, that I can't find. And because of that, that fan's not triggering, it's not coming on. I want to be able to drive my car around. I don't want to have the overheating problem. So what I want to do is I want to wire in a backup system. And that's what this is. This is the backup system. So pin 30, like I said, controls that fan. Pin 87A, I have tied to the factory ignition circuit. And the reason for that is the relay can be in the off state not triggered on. As you can see up here I've got it switched over into the off position and the switch because when this is in the on position the relay is activated and that gate switches over to pin 87 so it's on backup power. So when I have this relay in the off position everything is off, nothing is on, it's basically this is the factory wiring just with the break between 30 and 87A and the relay connects 30 and 87A together in the factory system. And as I, as I didn't say before, I should have I should have drawn this out. These pins, 85 and 86, those are for this electromagnet. And then 30 and 87 are where it would go through here. And if you're switched over 30 to 87A, then those two are connected. So then it's functioning like that. So this is the factory wiring as if it is completely untouched by my relay until this happens and then when that happens you notice that switch is flipped. Now this backup power switches over. This backup power is on pin 87. 87 I have tied, I've drawn it here directly to the battery but technically it is going through a fuse. You, it's highly recommended that you always go through a fuse. It's, it can, cause fires, all this all this stuff. So always run through a fuse. I want to make sure to make that uh, pop up in my other videos because I don't think I, I, have, I didn't mention that in the last video. So pin 87 straight to the battery through a fuse. Pin 86 is the power that goes to this electromagnetic coil. Now electromagnetic coil is what moves this gate and flips it back and forth between 87 and 87A so that you can take advantage and use the backup power switch it back and forth between the factory circuit and the backup circuit. So, Pin 85 can be 
wired as positive or pin 86 can be wired as positive but whichever one that you wire make sure you wire the other one as negative so if pin 86 is positive you want to make pin 85 negative or if pin 86 is negative then you want to make pin 85 positive it doesn't matter either way all it is is a simple electromagnet you can wire it backwards these for this situation you don't want to wire these backwards but this always can be now the reason I have 86 tied to positive is so I can run 85 all the way into the interior of my car and I can just ground it I have it grounded behind my radio the same place that the, that the factory radio is using the ground so it's a good ground spot good ground location find a good ground location use that and then my interrupter switch up here I have like I said I switched it over to where it's being controlled by my engine management but if you're driving your car around and you have your car set up like this everything's working like it's supposed to or everything's wired like it's supposed to be as far as the fan thinks if the fan could think it wouldn't see any difference all it would see is it's waiting for a signal from something down here doesn't get it hey what's going on car starts to overheat you start to realize your temperature gauge is higher than normal so what do you do you flip this switch when you flip that switch now you have a new circuit going through here straight to the battery fan comes on it's still spinning it's still doing its fan thing you're good now you can keep driving down the road you don't have to worry about overheating it's a excellent backup system to have in your car especially if you have that little problem that I'm having there's a million other things that you can do with the five pin relay when you wire it backwards like this but it has to be a five pin relay the reason it has to be a five pin relay is because in a normal four pin relay 87A is the pin that is non-existent so when, the, when this gate is over here and it's normally closed position it's connected to 87A but in a four pin relay 87A that pin is not there so this is the bottom of the relay that's pin 87A another thing if you want to go slightly farther with this I should add a little bit more detail and say what I have done to my car I have a, a three-way switch in the place of this uh, this this two pole two position switch let's ignore that's there for a second and this ground and I'm gonna draw another ground spot over here this is coming off and I'm gonna draw I'm gonna say this is E M S engine management system so that's the aftermarket computer that I have running everything in my car there's a ground switch wire that comes out of that so internally this engine management makes its own ground to complete this circuit I have a ground over here and then I just have this off position that doesn't go to anything so this goes into we'll just say that that dollar sign is a S as a switch so this wire goes into the switch and in the off position the relay is in the off position so it looks like this fan is connected it goes through and it goes through to 87A factory switch ignition circuit that's fine and that's here when it's in the off position when I flip the switch over I can flip it over to position 1 so it has two on positions this is an on and this is an on so it has two on positions one on position is a is a position that connects it to the ground switch circuit of my engine management system here so whenever the engine management decides to it can turn the fans on and that's the position that I always leave this switch in if I'm having trouble with that for whatever reason if my factory system fails and the engine management system fails I can always flip it over to this other on position and when I do that this switch is going straight to ground so essentially it's the same thing as me doing this and flipping this over to the on position So. Anyway, I know I added that little extra little tidbit at the end um, that's just using this by way of a three-way switch. So the three-way switch would control this relay. It's an excellent little backup system to have. Uh, once it's wired in, it's, it's great. You don't have to worry about 
factory systems messing up on you on cars that have 175,000 miles. So, anyway, I hope this was informative. I hope it was helpful. I hope you really seriously learned something. Leave a leave a comment down below if you have an idea for a video, something you want to see done with a relay. If it's possible to do with a relay, leave that down below, and um, and be sure to like, subscribe, and just share this uh, share this with your friends. Thanks a lot, guys, and God bless.